Hi, my name is John. I'm the head of trading here at Order City Capital. Today, I would like to take the opportunity to discuss the performance of two of our traders who are currently on the Funder Trader program. So, the first trader I'd like to uh, mention, his name is Lorenzo. He's been uh, one of our traders since February time. Uh, this uh, person has actually done very, very well as of late. Uh, he's hit target uh, the first time in like a couple of months. And the second time, it just took him a month, well, five weeks to hit his target of 10%. So um, what I'd like to do actually is I'd just like to take the, the time to talk about how he managed to do this, how he managed to achieve his 10% despite the adverse market conditions that we're currently facing on the back of the coronavirus, uh, which has uh, caused the markets to go into a turmoil. Um, so it is very possible to take advantage of these opportunities and make money. But at the same time, you know, you have to plan your trades. You've got to be safe and you've got to manage the risk properly. So um, just to talk about uh, Laurentius trade. So I'm going to talk about the, the moment he jumped on $20,000. So he managed to get his account doubled the first time back in February. Uh, we paid him in 24 hours and doubled his account to manage $20,000. And in the last five weeks, he's made his 10%. So um, just looking at his p &L statement, I can see that uh, Lorenzo has actually done something uh, that we call a hybrid, a hybrid trading system. He did not limit himself to just one way of trading. Uh, he obviously, um, you know, traded at various volumes from 0 0.3 to 0 0.2, even at 0 0.02, just to manage the risk. Now, one of the trades that uh, caught my eye is the, um, the Aussie Yen. Now, the Aussie Yen is one of the pairs that hardly moves. A lot of people say it's a, it's a pair to trade mainly in the Asian session. Uh, it's not really volatile, it doesn't move too much. Now, uh, Laurentiu managed to make $968.90 on Aussie Yen, trading at 0 0.3 lots. He was in the trade for four days. Now, once again, I would like to clarify, you can hold trades overnight with us. So holding a trade from Monday to Friday, even over the weekend, and pairs like Aussie Yen, New Zealand, Swiss, and you know these kind of pairs, they're not going to gap too much on a Sunday night. So holding trades like this over the weekend, the risk management team is very happy to uh, allow these positions to be held over the weekend, unless, of course, um, there is something happening in that part of the world that could cause um, you know volatility. Now, to make, a, to make this much money on one position, Okay, it's almost half of his target that he made. So he had to make $2,000 on a $20,000 account. And in almost one position, he just did 50% of his target. So to be honest with you, you don't have to overtrade. You don't have to take too many positions. If you find one good opportunity, you buy low or sell high, you could catch a good position and hold it for a couple of days and make this much money. Now, on top of that, what I've noticed is... Um, Another trade that he's actually uh, taken, and that's on the pound, on the pound Swiss. He seems to like trading the pound Swiss. So to be honest with you, um, the pound Swiss is obviously a pound, it's a cable position, and uh, it is volatile, especially on the back of the coronavirus. Now, what he's done is he's seen a good opportunity, and he managed to catch a couple of hundred dollars on this trade uh, a couple of times, actually. So again, you know, he traded... Asian session. He traded London session. I can even see another position uh, on, what is it? Um, the Euro New Zealand. He went uh, long and short a few times and the pound Kiwi as well. He did those trades overnight, some during the day and he held them over uh, because he saw good opportunity. Yes, there was losses here and there. Of course, he didn't just have a one win streak. No one does. We all know this, but he managed the risk very well. He had very small losses. So he would lose maybe $59, $70, uh, I think 100, uh, 210 he lost. But he was making three, $400 on winning trade. So the risk to reward was in his favor, which allowed him in five weeks time to hit his target of 10%. And he didn't limit himself. I can see that he took it seriously. He traded markets that were moving, that had good opportunity. I can't see much of any revenge trading, so he didn't take the same trade three, four, five, six times. He wasn't obsessed with a specific currency pair. Uh, he diversified. He was hybrid. And he obviously respected the volume. He respected the risk parameters. And he respected our trading parameters as well. So this is someone who made 10%. His name is Laurentius, one of our traders. is now 
currently managing 40,000 US dollars. We paid him within one hour and doubled his account. Yes, that's how quick we are in doing business. And to be honest with you now, I am expecting him within maybe the same time or less to hit his other 10%. And to be managing 80,000. And if he keeps doing very well, we might even skip a level. Who knows? The risk management team will be the judge of that. So I just wanted to share his performance with you guys and let you know that it is possible to make money. There are opportunities in the market. For those people who are skeptical, who are uh, very judgmental, who are very scared and panicking and saying the market is not good to trade, we have to stay away, please change your mindset. Stop using excuses. You can find an excuse or you can find a way. You can't do both. Find a way to make money. The markets are moving. Manage the risk and hopefully you'll do well. So take this as an example for someone that has done it so you can do it as well. Thank you very much.